1924, George Lee Mallory was prepared for his expedition to Mount Everest. He had a dream to summit the mighty Everest and be the first one to achieve it. Even though he was confident enough to achieve his goal, he faced his death in the mountains. There was no solid evidence to prove that he climbed Everest and reached the peak. More than 100 years later, debates are still going on about whether he was the first person to successfully climb the largest peak in the world. How did George Mallory die? Did he complete the climb? Before we unravel the mystery, smash the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss a single video from Mountaineers. George Mallory was an academically brilliant student and he graduated from Cambridge. While he was in college, he developed a sudden interest towards climbing. He decided to pursue his passion to climb mountains after serving in the British Army during the First World War. Mount Everest was a mystery to all. At that time, people wanted to find out a route to reach the top of the mountain. A British expedition was conducted in the year 1921 to analyze the mountain and evaluate the easiest way to reach its peak. George Lee Mallory was a member of the expedition team. The team didn't want to climb the mountain as they had only plans to analyze Mount Everest. They had to face a lot of obstacles to execute this expedition as Nepal was strictly closed to foreigners from the western side. The team could only explore the route to the Himalayas from Tibet. After days of hardship, they found a way to climb the mountain. They found paths through the Rongbu Glacier, North Col, and the Northeastern Ridge. A year after that in 1922, the first expedition team set off to climb Mount Everest. George Mallory was also in the team. 8,362 meters were covered by them in the first attempt itself. They set a record for the entire world. The mission didn't have a delighted ending as the porters who were in the expedition died in an avalanche. George was heavily criticized by all as he was the one who led the team. In 1924, he was leading a peaceful life with his wife Ruth and their beautiful three children. But deep in his heart, he wanted to pursue mountain climbing and conquer Mount Everest. He decided to go on another expedition to Everest. George Mallory was 37 years old when he climbed Mount Everest for the third time. Andrew Sandy Irvine, an amateur mountain climber, joined him for the journey. Are you enjoying the video so far? Press the like button and keep watching. George wanted to climb Everest with Andrew due to his immense knowledge of oxygen sets. Another climber, Edward Norton, attempted to climb Everest but he couldn't complete it due to tiredness and risky terrain. Norton shared his experience with George and they discussed the route to the peak of Everest. George, along with Andrew, started their climb. He carried his wife's photo with him as he had promised himself that he would place the photo on the top of the mountain. The duo carried a camera with them along with other equipment. They left the camp near the final pyramid after covering 8,170 meters. Noel Odell was a support climber who witnessed the duo climbing towards the higher altitude of Everest. Unfortunately, George and Andrew never came back. They disappeared forever. Decades later, the body of George Mallory was found dead. Andrew's axe and oxygen cylinder were also found, but till now, no one was able to find his body. It's still unclear whether the duo finished their climb and reached the peak of the mountain. The photograph of Ruth was now found with George Mallory. This could be a possibility that George Mallory and Andrew Irvine were the first ones to climb Mount Everest. Many expeditions are being planned to discover the body of Andrew Irvine. In 2019, an expedition was conducted to find Andrew's body, but they couldn't succeed. The remains of Andrew Irvine would solve the Isaac's tragic mystery as the camera they carried might be with him. Do you believe that George Mallory and Andrew Irvine were the first people to successfully climb Mount Everest? Would you be interested in climbing Everest if you get an opportunity? Let us know in the comments.